Contest to Sasha Knapp wouldn't say the Mercedes S-Class actually needed a facelift, even after four years. But if it's going to keep its benchmark status, it has to keep its technology state-of-the-art. From the outside, the facelift is not readily apparent. But a closer look at the grille and the bumper reveals slight differences. The real improvements are under the hood. Sasha points out that traditionally, the S500 had always had a V8. Now it's powered by an inline six-cylinder engine. He wonders how the car's fans will receive it. Should the S500 have really had a V8? He'll check out the performance and sound to decide for himself. The 320 kilowatt output of the 3 liter inline six does come close to that of the 4.7 liter V8 used up to now, but it needs a good sized turbocharger to do it. That builds exhaust gas pressure in the lower rev range. So Mercedes has given its R6 an electric booster compressor. It kicks in right from the rock bottom rev range, giving the engine a good 520 Newton meters of torque at just 1800 revs before the turbocharger takes over. And that's the end of turbo lag. An integrated starter generator sandwich between engine and transmission spurs on the gasoline engine the moment the car's rolling. Sasha explains that since it takes a lot of fuel to set this nearly two-ton street cruiser in motion, the electric boost can help reduce fuel consumption by a good 22 percent. Among the fuel-saving tweaks is the coasting function, and the driver won't be called upon to switch off the Eco Start-Stop system, as the starter generator is always at the ready. Never has saving fuel been this fun. The electric drive also supplies the 48-volt electrical system. Recuperative braking helps to charge the battery, which is stowed under the rear seats. The primary electrics also supply the windshield heating, taking it to the right temperature faster. And the air conditioning keeps running when the car is standing still. Personally, Sasha quite likes the inline six-cylinder engine. He's pleasantly surprised, especially by the electric motor. But to make a real comparison, he'll have to drive the V8 version, like this S560. He'll be interested to see how much of a difference to the inline six he'll be able to feel. Sasha likes the sound much better when he steps on the gas in the S560. It has better pickup as well. Now he finds the difference greater than he's expected at first. He realizes the inline six just can't measure up to the V8. When he considers only the specs, the difference seems to be greater subjectively than objectively. The S500's starter generator can briefly give the combustion engine up to 250 newton meters of torque and 16 kilowatts of additional power. The interior has a very high class feel to it, whether in front or back. The spaciousness and fine materials create an atmosphere of elegance. To enhance the wellness factor of its luxury class even further, Mercedes has given it an ambient lighting system capable of 64 colors with individually adjustable zones. The only space for Sasha in an S-Class is behind the wheel, but not all S-Class buyers have to or want to drive it themselves, so it's important to make sure it has plenty of room in back. His 1.92-meter frame has more than enough space. Even with four people in the car, his knees don't bump into the seat in front. But should any more room be needed, the front seat can be moved forward from the rear to create the kind of legroom offered by business class airplane seats. To experience real luxury, all that's needed in the S-Class is the remote control to switch on the Energizing Comfort program. It presents a selection of music, fragrance, and hot stone massage for a well-tempered atmosphere of wellness. The lighting is a part of it. Passengers in back can be prodded and caressed to their desired state of vitality. It can make all the difference on long hauls or heading to this or that important meeting. 
But personally, Sasha doesn't feel that he needs it, especially since the combinations of options don't come cheap. The price list has the energizing comfort at just 238 euros, but the relatively low extra charge only comes together with more expensive extras like the ambient lighting for 476 euros and the air balance package for 440 euros. The extras really start adding up with the active multi-contour front and rear seats, including a massage function for just over 2,000 and just over 1,850 euros, respectively. Sasha returns to the question, does an S500 have to have a V8? He wouldn't say so. The inline six-cylinder engine with electric drive would definitely be enough for him. But for the sound and prestige of a V8, a car buyer will have to go for the S560. The S-Class starts at 85,000 euros in Germany, and the S500 lists for 103,000. A V8 engine will tack another 10,000 euros onto that. And if you want to go right to the limits, you can try out the AMG S65 with a price tag of some 240,000 euros. But that's another story entirely. 240.000 Euro ausgeben. Und das ist dann mal eine ganz andere Geschichte.